And a full toss, and it has been dispatched. So his good work has been undone off that final ball, straight down the ground for six. Takes New Zealand to 32 for one after three. Chapman manages to run that down and it's got through. It's going to get all the way to the rope. So nicely worked away. Just very gently played off the edge there. Worked. That swung away. Straight down onto his pads there. And Chapman made no mistake. Swung away for six. Take the score on to 55 for one. So Carl and I are going to step out just now, and next commentators will be Craig McMillan and Lee Casper. Oh, it's good use of the feet up and over the offside, and then a run away for four. Been very good today, his Dane Cleaver at using his feet, both spin and pace. He picks up a boundary. freebie and that's going to race away for four full toss down the leg side just lost his line got punished big over for New Zealand New Zealand 84 for two. Oh, that sounded good that sounded really good that has gone all the way for six that is a big blow from Mark Chapman yeah I think he did you're right I think he just tossed it up a little bit it was slow tends to be on the quicker side doesn't he what that one got the full treatment it's a good matchup though here. Just worked away for a couple there. So again, Greaves has, has done well, hasn't conceded a boundary so far. That's his seventh ball. And that's 50 for Mark Chapman. Of 27 balls. It's been a great knock, hasn't it, so far? Yeah, he's been proactive. Chapman, he's, he's shown the power when he's needed the power, but he's also used the pace of the ball at times when, for example, when Mark Watt. It's punched away, and it got through. It got past Greaves for a boundary. And it was a good dive from Greaves in the boundary, but wasn't quite able to get to it. And now straight down, and again a misfield by the looks of it, and it's gone. Oh no, it's gone for six. Yeah. Unlike McLeod, that he's usually one of the safest pairs of hands in the team. He's run around the boundary there, like where Alec down where Ali Evans took that last catch, and he uh, he didn't quite manage to grasp it this time. Just through his hands. A few overs. Swung away. But, and it's beaten the two fielders of Pice Exum right on the boundary rope. So another four to Chapman. Oh, and that was absolutely nailed by Chapman straight over the top, right out of the screws of the bat. Don't even bother chasing that. That's gone high and handsome for six. Yeah, that's a stunning shot. He's, he's sitting deep there, he's gone back into his crease, expecting the length to be away from him. It just gives him a little bit more time to see that ball, to, to make his adjustment and make his decision. Well, that's that quicker ball, and that swung away. There's a man out there, takes the catch. Greaves gets the big wicket, uh, Mark Chapman is on his way. Terrific knock from the left-hander. First game on this Northern Tour, and he's made every post a winner. Scotland get a big scalp. Yeah, that's well bowled from Greaves. He's looked there to bowl it a little bit shorter and maybe caught Chapman a little bit off guard with having to play a almost conventional pull shot out to out to walk. But it's been a fantastic innings from Chapman. He showed real power down the ground and good deft touches behind the wicket. So he'll be happy with that with his highest score in New Zealand colours. Chapman goes for 83. Oh, terrific knockoff, just 44 balls. New Zealand 175 for four.